Well, in FC TV, we have Adam Hinch. We're looking ahead to Maidstone United at home in the National South. First time we've had a return fixture this season against someone we've already played in the league. What are you expecting from it and what you're hoping to maybe improve from uh, the last time we met them? Um, no, yeah, obviously a uh, bit of a hiding down their place. Um, you know, it was on probably a good run of form heading into that game and going into it with lots of confidence. But yeah, I just think uh, some of the defending on the day was poor. I think we got done with a couple of long balls. So, you know, we know that that's what's going to be coming our way. Um, they're a big, strong side. Um, and we've got to be prepared for that, um, know, what, know what's coming. And um, yeah, still stick to our beliefs and, and, and try and play. And um, try and cause them a few more problems because um, we didn't do that nowhere near enough but yeah like I like to say I think it was uh, relatively good in terms of footballing without creating loads of chances but you know we just can't legislate for the, the goals that we conceded it was uh, uh, two long balls and we're 2 nil down I think at half time and you know it's really going to be a, a tough ask a, a, a tough place to go. Absolutely yeah a little bit of a benefit for us being at home this time around and it's not like we're not in the goals at the moment as well, which is a positive. No, yeah, we're um, in the goals in, in both ends, so yeah, we want to try and keep a clean sheet. Um, obviously, that's easier said than done we're against real tough opposition, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's an area that we know we've, we've got to improve on. It's, it's good this week um, that we've got two two training sessions um, to 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 get. Um, into the lads uh, and yeah we can do a little bit of individual work for the first time and in a long time really um, look at a few units and like I say some individual work and then we sort of prep up again on Thursday uh, ready for Saturday so yeah looking forward to, to having that uh, a couple of training sessions this week and um, yeah just try to tidy up on, on the bits that we're doing well, um, you know, because there's lots of good stuff, there's some really good football being played, um, you know, even in even in defeats, you know, there's been some really good football, so it's just, just tidying up on that and, uh, like I say, just trying to uh, be a bit more secure um, and defend our goal a little bit better. It's been an interesting season, isn't it? Uh, we're actually in not a bad position at all, considering how up and down some of the results have been. We're only five points away from Maidstone, who are in second. It says a lot about the quality of this league and the quality or well, the standard that we expect at this football club as well, that it's maybe not being seen as so positively. No, yeah, it seems a bit doom and gloom, doesn't it, this season? I think you know, it's the, the best FA Cup run we've had in a long time. Obviously, not so good in the Sussex Senior Cup, but you know, we went out on penalties and we won on penalties last season, so that can happen. Um, FA Trophy, the same, gone out on penalties. So it's not like... Um, you know, there's been some heavy defeats, don't get me wrong, um, and I'm not standing here pretending it's all rosy. Um, I know we've got to get better, but you know, it's just a, the expectation, I suppose. Um, sixth in the league, our second ever season at this level. Um, we're up against teams like Maidstone, Yeovil, Torquay, um, you know, teams that are have aspirations to get in the Football League, let alone into the, to the National League. So, you know, we do have to have a bit of a, a reality check at times, but, you know, that's not me hiding behind anything. That's just I'm still the, the same, want, want the best and want to keep on progressing. And, you know, progression for this club is, is finishing in probably the top four places in the National League South now. Um, and that's just... You know, testament to, to the players, the staff and everyone that's that's working so hard to, to take the club on. So there's a lot about where yeah, the club is at at the moment rather than anything that's going wrong or anything. It's a positive thing, if anything. No, yeah, definitely. Um, <coughs> and, you know, get really despondent with um, performances when we only take a point at home. Um, you know, we've, we know that we should have probably got three points on, on Saturday and only got one. We know that Dartford coming here, um, we should have took three points and didn't take any. So, you know, it's it's, it's fine margins. It's a tough league. Um, there's no easy game. There's no, there's no gimme. Um, and I think that shows in the points total between, you know, top and bottom, um, second and, and eighth and, you know, eighth down to the relegation places really. Um, you know, you, you have to be at it all the time and every minute and, you know, it's good, it's good. And, you know, 
we've got to keep on progressing. Um, like I say, there's there's lots to be pleased with, and you know, on the flip of that, we we are shifting too many goals, so you know, stuff for us to work on. Um, but but ultimately, like we've got to start learning from our mistakes quickly. Um, and if we do that, you know, we I still I still back us to to give the top teams in this league a good game if if we're on it and we're confident. And you know, I think that's been the sort of one negative I'd say this season is seeing so many players that just seemed a little bit low on confidence um, and just it's nice this week to be able to have some chats with players and just see where they are and um, you know try and try and help them and get them out of that because there's nothing worse as a manager to see your players low on confidence and you know just want to try and help them with that and and get them as, as confident as they can because I know when that happens um, you know we've got a real good side on our hands. And we've said so many times as well, the quality in this squad is fantastic. There are some brilliant players in there, it's just getting the, the best out of them. No, definitely. We've drawn four all, so we've scored four goals. And, you know, we didn't have Greg Lure, Luke Hay and, and Danny Cashman on the pitch for large periods of that. Um, Bailey Smith as well, you know. So there's four real talented lads uh, for this level there that have not gone on the pitch and we scored four goals. Um, you know, so it does show you that we have got some exciting players there's no question and you know it's my job um you know to to get the best out of them and uh you know it's a, it's a real challenge but one i'm really looking forward to and and i really want to see that over the next couple of weeks another forward to mention there um look at the injury list now jake robinson he's still out at the moment whereabouts is he in his recovery? yeah so he's had a four weeks training no reaction if anything he's feeling good he's feeling fittest he's felt since he's come back um so we're hoping if it goes well this week say a couple of sessions into him again that he'll be available for section come saturday um which will be a real boost if it's to have jake robinson for 30 minutes towards the end of a game when there's tired legs out there um you know that'd be a real a real uh boost for, for the squad um so yeah it's 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 a case of, you know, like Jake as well, he's, he's come in and scored goals, but he's, he's not been feeling right. He's not been, you can tell, like, his mindset's not been right. And, you know, it's exciting for me to know that when these lads do get confident and, and firing, that we've got some real talent uh, amongst our ranks. Another bit of talent and a new signing for us this week, uh, Aduka Chima, yep. uh, defender. Uh, what could you tell us about him? No, yeah, 21, he's been playing in the Canadian sort of Premier League, so, you know, lots of good experience. Um, he's moved back to sort of London, and, you know, young, exciting talent, 21, like I say, and he's a, you know, big, powerful lad. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're hoping he trains well this week and um, gets used to how we want to play and, and another player that we could potentially have uh, available for selection come Saturday. So, yeah, another real exciting uh, prospect for this club to have. And, um, yeah, we're excited to, to, get, to get working with him. Just to close, uh, looking at the squad, is it generally as to be expected for selection Saturday? Um, but who's going to be available? Or is there anyone you're expecting not to be around? No, there is um, only one sort of Glenn Ray. Um, I had a good, honest, open chat with him this morning. Um, and, you know, he just sort of obviously coming out of the pro game. Um, just felt like mentally wasn't quite um, in the right frame of mind to be out there on the pitch at the moment. And, you know, I've got nothing but admiration for Glenn. Um, you know, he could have quite easily just kept on playing and uh, he said he wants to, you know, have a little bit of a break and just, um, you know, get back to... Um, no, it's very very honest conversation. Um, he's got real high expectations, and he knows that he hasn't been performing to the level that he can. And a lot of that's down to him being a leader on the pitch. Um, and he feels like he hasn't been doing that, and yeah, it just feels it's the right time to just you know step away at the moment. Um, but yeah, it was a real honest. I've got nothing but admiration for him, and um, you know we'll sort of leave the door open if it's a case that. Six weeks down the line, he, he's you know got that love back and wants to come and get his boots on again. Then you know that door will be open for him, and we'll stay in contact, no question. And uh, you know, obviously, uh, a real big miss for the change room. But 
I say, he's got nothing but admiration and you know, he's, he's 29 years old, he knows um, you know, where he's at um, mentally and he just doesn't feel in the, the right frame of mind. So respect him, respect the decision and like I say, we'll stay in touch and you know, when it's the right time, um, hopefully he'll come, come back to Worthen. Yeah, real shame that. Good on him though for yeah being so honest and everything. Wish him all the best. No, yeah, that's it's, it, honestly it was a real sort of breath of fresh air sort of conversation. Um, I was going to have a chat with him anyway just to see sort of where he was at because he was quite quiet in the change room and no like he's kind of character that's not him. So you know it's yeah nothing but admiration for the man and um, you know, wish him wish him well and wish him all the best and like I say yeah, hopefully it won't be too long before he wants to put his boots on again and. He'll be out there for us. As you say, leaves a bit of a hole for us. Do you think there's anything that anyone that could come in? Do you think that would be Chima or is there, could there be any yeah, options? Yeah, we got um, Yudoka now to to come in, and it's like a relatively um, simple sort of replacement there. Uh, you know, obviously a lot younger and um, stuff like that, but. Uh, uh, tough, tough boots to feel in terms of Glens, um, but yeah, yeah, we've got we've got Michael Class back from suspension now, so we had um, Tutty that wasn't in the squad, and that was out. Jake Robinson, so Jake Robinson's come back in, with Michael Class come back in, so the squad's going to be you know real competition for places again, and, and that's that's how we want it.